What is your name? <laughs> Alexandrine. And where are we right now? We are in my house in Montreal. And um, how did we meet each other? Actually, I got... Uh, um, someone shared your video in front of the Strasbourg Cathedral. There was no comment, no reference on it, but I really loved the, the music and uh, I used to live there, so we kind of echoed and I looked you up, found you, found the trouble notes and I started uh, following you on Facebook and during one interview you were live uh, and I think it's uh, Steffi who asked uh, can anyone uh, welcome us when we come to Montreal next year? We are going to tour North America for the first time. And I said, come to my house. Yeah. And that's how it started. And you, you probably kept in touch with Steffi a bit. Yes, uh, I did. Because in fact, I remember we were, uh, for the months but we were leading up, she kept saying, oh man, Montreal, I'm really excited to go to Montreal because Alexandrine, our host, she seems like she's so cool. We get along so well. And it was funny because you, when, when we arrived and you met each other, normally it's Ollie who always says, I want to ride in the car with the other person because he just wants to get away from us for a little while. And uh, she was the like, no, I ride with Alexandrine. You go by yourselves, boys, you follow <laughs> us. So I was like, ah, she likes this woman. Okay, okay, really likes yeah, this we woman. We clicked. We, I, I, it was so easy. We just yeah. clicked and talked and uh, it was just natural. Yeah, I can understand. So that. I knew that all of you would be, it would be the same because uh, she wouldn't spend uh, 11 months uh, a year with all you, has, <laughs> all has, of you. She uh, has no choice. 24 hours, <laughs> 24 7. <laughs> if it wasn't uh, like a keen community. Yeah, it's true. No, but in, and in fact, her personality is very much uh, in the DNA of, of our group without questions. Yes, yeah. without questions, mm. after, absolutely. It's very cohesive. Yeah. Um, we have this album, it's called Lose Your Ties, and uh, the, the, the question that we like to ask people is, um, I'm, whether you know a little bit about what it means to us or not is not so relevant, but what, what does that, uh, that phrase and that theme kind of mean to you and how can your, what is your personal connection, if you have one, with that story? The Lose Your Ties, the Choose. Yeah. and be free enough to do it yeah yeah well uh, I crossed the ocean along along with my son 20 years ago left everyone behind and uh, I recreated a life here alone with him and uh, for me it's it wasn't a from what I understood is you, at one point you made a decision to lose some of yours and uh, become even more truthful truthful to yourselves mm -hmm. uh, me it, it was a little bit different uh, I never kept ties to anything into anything and anyone every time I, I, I change city I would change everything mm -hmm. but when I found Montreal it's the only place on earth that I know I will always keep a little something here mm -hmm. and I let it happen mm -hmm. But uh, having ties and no ties for me was, well, the story of my life. Yeah, I, I find that actually that, that like for, for me personally, I, I really enjoy, because we now move so much, it's kind of the same, you know, it's like I, we live in Berlin, but we don't really live in Berlin, do you know? No. And uh, I, I like that kind of, as you're moving, you have this ability to uh, experience something new and, and take a little piece of it and, and make it a part of you. You know what I mean? Yeah, you like I reject, it, yeah. I reject things that I don't like about a place, like a culture of a place, for example. There's things I'm like, mm, it's not really mine, you know? But there are, I always find in every culture something that I like. Absolutely. Do you know what I mean? And I think that's such a cool way, you know, that kind of nomadic culture. It's not even like you as a being. It's like the culture of, of being a nomad, of kind of taking pieces and saying, hey, this is not my one thing. I am not French only. I am not German only, but I like this that the French do, this mm -hmm. that the Germans do, this that the Canadians mm -hmm. do. Mm -hmm. I think that's really cool. And ties can be absolutely poetic, absolutely beautiful. And uh, But freedom, your own freedom is just... And it, it translates in your work. Mm. Why do people love your music so much? Why do they 
let it out. I, we saw it yesterday that the people were just letting it out in in screams ter therapy. It was a scream therapy, it you know? Was like it was they just <laughs> let everything out and move like a dissonant move, but they don't care. They just let it out yeah. because you conveyed your, your freedom. And that's what I felt when I saw you on the, in front of the cathedral. This is you were totally spaced out in your music mm. and totally free. And I can relate to freedom anytime. Yeah. Yay. Nice one. Love you guys. Cool. And then as a side note, just for fun, you know the girl that was really screaming a lot in the front? There's no way that girl has a voice today. Uh, if she can talk, like, <laughs> there's no way. And the whole time I kept looking at her, you are, you are going to lose your no, no, voice no. tomorrow. <laughs> it's impossible. It's you impossible. are straining your vocal cords. Yeah, yeah, it's impossible. <laughs> like, that, was, that was like a two-hour death metal concert. Yeah, but it was amazing. It was amazing. From from what do you draw your inspiration to do? You know, like obviously, I know you read a lot. I know that you also just by by looking around your house, I can see that you you take little pieces of different That's cultures. That's my painting over there. Ah, well, you just showed that to me now. One of mine, actually. Well, um, I used to be a professional dancer. I was a professional singer. I was a painter and uh, so creativity for me is like uh, my DNA. Um, I made the choice to accompany uh, my son and to become a mom but it, it's another type of creativity and uh, so listening to people and watching young people like you <laughs> uh, choosing creativity over the rest yeah. For me, it's kind of, okay, that generation will make that revelation, will be free, will allow themselves to, uh, to be who they are and really not let anyone dictate them. Yeah. And I raised my son like that, you met him. Yeah, and for sure. So freedom and that, free, that creativity for me is the basics for everything in pedagogy, in whatever you do. Yeah. Yeah, actually, with your when af, having met your son, I can tell for sure. It, for me, it was interesting meeting your son before you, because you, when you meet him, you know, it's like okay, you, you can. I had a pretty good idea of exactly who you were, just from meeting him. Do you know what I mean? And then it was like you fit the the mold perfectly. You know, mm -hmm. either yeah, like like what I mean is either he was like this incredible spiritual rebel. <laughs> you know, it was the result of a rebellion of spirituality, or it was completely the opposite, where he was, um, uh, you know, very much um, shaped. He shaped himself, of course, but in an image and in a guidance that you gave him, and I think it's more the latter. Um, you just, you can, you can only accompany, yeah. that's all, in, in an indiv individual path. What you can do is nourish. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Nourish, 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 and hope that whatever you could give will sprout and flower and bloom, yeah. you know? And you never know when, you never know what. So what I chose is to give it all. Yeah. And his nature would make the selection. Just, that's I keep, that's that I don't. That fits to me, and that's exactly. how it happened. Yeah, exactly. And I like the fact that in, in a crazy way, you learn from him too. Like... Oh. Uh, like when I when we came in the house, you were like, yeah, you know, we drink water with these minerals, of course, Catherine. And you know, it was like you you could, for everything that you taught him, now he is teaching you things that he's learning, you know, and he's sharing them with you, and you're you're learning from each other. I think that's like for me, that's such an important thing that that society needs. Is like the young people, of course, need to learn from the elders, and the elders need to learn from the young people. Like it, you're you're breeding us and teaching us to to show you the be the future so when we are starting to make the future the you know learn from it you, you, you don't teach you 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 only lead by example and when i became pregnant my mom told you he's coming to educate you that's great you will not educate him he will educate you that's a good way of thinking and my that. whole pregnancy i she repeated it. he will be your educator yeah and you will grow and you will, you know, Brilliant. become more of yourself. Brilliant, yeah. You had wise parents as well, I guess. 
well, <laughs> we all lead a very spiritual life, yeah. so uh, he was surrounded by it, you know. Mm -hmm. it's just, uh, and I, what the, the the example of the water? That's something that I say it because I'm very proud. I'm sorry, ego, uh, <laughs> mom ego, uh, but I'm scientifically trained, and what I appreciate is that when he grabs a topic he will research all the pros all the cons all the and people who are not so really sure what they want to think about it but he will research it yeah. and then make his own opinion and choose the best and that's what he do for the proper and that's that's how he does and that for me is a scientific yeah. uh, you know when way you of doing it and i love it i love yeah, it exactly